Today, we're excited to take you on a virtual tour of one of the most beautiful and unique destinations in Europe, Jersey. Be inspired and start planning your next adventure to Jersey. Number 1. St. Brelades Bay St. Brelades Bay is one of the most popular beaches in Jersey, Channel Islands. It is located on the southwest coast of the island and boasts a long stretch of golden sand and crystal clear waters, backed by green hills and cliffs. The bay is sheltered from the prevailing winds and tides, making it a safe and family-friendly beach. It is also a popular spot for water sports such as swimming, kayaking, and paddleboarding. Visitors can enjoy a meal or refreshment at one of the beachfront eateries while taking in the stunning views of the bay. The bay is also surrounded by several historic landmarks, such as the St. Brelades Parish Church, which dates back to the 11th century, and the Fisherman's Chapel, which houses a small museum dedicated to the local fishing industry. St. Brelades Bay is a popular destination for tourists and locals alike, especially during the summer months. It is easily accessible by car or bus and offers ample parking facilities. The bay also has several amenities, such as public toilets, showers, and changing rooms, making it a comfortable and convenient place to spend a day at the beach. Number 2. Morn Orgill Castle Morn Orgill Castle, also known as Gori Castle, is one of Jersey's most impressive historical sites. The castle was built in the 13th century to protect Jersey from French invaders and was used as a military stronghold for centuries. Today, visitors can explore the castle's towers, battlements, and underground chambers, and learn about the history of the island through a range of exhibits and displays. The castle is located in the picturesque village of Gori, which is home to a range of charming shops, cafes, and restaurants. Visitors can also enjoy stunning views of the surrounding sea and countryside from the castle's ramparts. Number 3. Jersey Zoo Also known as Daril Wildlife Conservation Trust. This is a famous zoo and conservation organization located in Trinity. It was founded by the naturalist, author, and zookeeper Gerald Durrell in 1959. The zoo is spread over 32 acres of landscaped gardens and houses over 1,000 animals from more than 130 species, including rare and endangered animals from around the world. The zoo's mission is to save species from extinction and educate people about the importance of conservation. The zoo has been successful in breeding several species, such as the agile frog, the pygmy hog, and the Mauritius kestrel, and has reintroduced them into the wild. Here visitors can see animals such as gorillas, bush dog, black lion, and lemurs up close. The zoo's education and conservation programs aim to inspire visitors to become advocates for wildlife conservation, and to take action to protect endangered species and their habitats. Visitors can also enjoy refreshments and meals at the zoo's cafes and restaurants while enjoying the beautiful views of the gardens and animals. Number 4. The Lavender Farm The Lavender Farm is a beautiful and fragrant attraction located in the northwest of Jersey. It is situated in a picturesque valley surrounded by rolling hills and offers stunning views of the island's countryside. The farm boasts a wide variety of lavender species, which bloom in the summer months, creating a purple sea of color that attracts visitors from all over the world. Apart from its beautiful lavender fields, the lavender farm also features a herb garden, where visitors can see and smell a variety of herbs and learn about their uses. The farm has a gift shop that sells a range of lavender products, including essential oils, soaps, candles, and culinary lavender. The farm's on-site cafe also serves delicious lavender-inspired treats, such as lavender scones, lavender shortbread, and lavender lemonade, as well as other local and organic produce. The Lavender Farm is a peaceful and relaxing place to visit, offering a sensory experience that is both beautiful and therapeutic. Visitors can stroll through the lavender fields, take in the fragrant air, and enjoy the stunning scenery. Number 5. St. Albans Harbour St. Auburn Harbour is a picturesque and historic harbour located in the parish of St. Brelade. The harbour dates back to the 17th century and was once a bustling trading port for fishing boats and cargo ships. Today, it is a popular destination for tourists and locals alike, offering a range of activities and attractions. One of the main attractions at St. Auburn's Harbour is the variety of restaurants and cafes that line the waterfront. 
visitors can enjoy a meal or a drink at one of the many establishments while taking in the stunning views of the harbor and the surrounding area. The harbor also offers a range of water-based activities, such as boat trips, fishing excursions, and kayaking. St. Albans Harbor is also home to several historic landmarks, such as the Old Court House and the 18th-century Georgian House, which now houses a museum dedicated to the history of Jersey. Visitors can also take a stroll along the pier, which offers breathtaking views of St. Albans Bay and the nearby Elizabeth Castle. Number 6. The Botanic Gardens at Samars Manor. The Botanic Gardens is a beautiful and tranquil attraction located in the parish of St. Clement. The gardens are situated within the grounds of the historic Samars Manor, which dates back to the 16th century and is surrounded by lush woodland and gardens. The botanic gardens themselves are divided into several themed areas, showcasing a variety of exotic and rare plants from around the world. One of the main attractions at the botanic gardens is the Japanese garden, which features a traditional tea house, a koi pond, and a range of ornamental trees and plants. Visitors can stroll through the garden and take in the serene atmosphere, enjoying the peaceful surroundings and the beauty of the plants and flowers. Another popular feature at the Botanic Gardens is the Herb Garden, which showcases a variety of herbs and medicinal plants. Visitors can learn about the different uses of herbs and their properties, as well as enjoy the fragrant scents and vibrant colors of the plants. The Botanic Gardens also feature a range of other areas, such as the Rose Garden, the Mediterranean Garden, and the Water Garden, each offering a unique and beautiful experience. Number 7. Jersey Pearl. Jersey Pearl is a popular attraction located on the beautiful St. Ewan's Bay. It is a pearl jewelry company that also has a visitor center showcasing the fascinating process of pearl cultivation and production. Visitors can take a guided tour of the facility and learn about the history of pearls, as well as see the different stages of pearl production, from culturing to harvesting and processing. One of the main attractions of Jersey Pearl is its showroom, which features a stunning collection of pearl jewelry. Visitors can browse and purchase a wide range of pearl products, including necklaces, bracelets, earrings, and rings, as well as other jewelry and accessories made from natural materials found in the local area. Jersey Pearl also features a cafe and a garden center that offers a range of delicious meals and snacks. The garden center features a wide range of plants and flowers, as well as garden furniture and other accessories. Number 8. Elizabeth Castle. Elizabeth Castle is an iconic landmark that has played a significant role in Jersey's history for over 400 years. The castle is located on a tidal island in St. Albans Bay and can only be accessed by foot during low tide or by boat during high tide. The castle was built in the 16th century to protect Jersey from French invaders and served as a military stronghold until the 20th century. Visitors can explore the castle's various buildings, including the governor's house, the guardhouse, and the chapel, and learn about the castle's history through interactive exhibits and guided tours. The castle's location on a tidal island also makes it a unique and picturesque attraction, offering stunning views of the surrounding sea and coastline. Number 9. La Mer Wine Estate. La Mer Wine Estate is a family-owned vineyard located in the beautiful island of Jersey. The vineyard is situated on the southwest coast of Jersey and has been producing award-winning wines for over 40 years. The estate covers an area of 25 acres and is home to a wide variety of grapevines, including Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Civil Blanc. In addition to wine production, La Mer also produces a range of luxury spirits, including gin, brandy, and vodka, using locally sourced ingredients. Visitors to the vineyard can take guided tours of the estate, learn about the winemaking process, and enjoy wine tastings in the beautiful surroundings. One of the unique aspects of La Mer Wine Estate is its commitment to sustainability. The vineyard has implemented a range of eco-friendly initiatives. Whether you are a wine lover or simply looking for a beautiful place to visit, La Mer Wine Estate is a must-see destination in Jersey. And finally. Number 10. The Corbia Lighthouse. The Corbia is an iconic landmark located on the southwestern tip of Jersey. The lighthouse was first constructed in 1874 and was designed by Sir John Cood, a renowned British civil engineer. 
It stands on a rocky outcrop surrounded by the sea, and its distinct striped tower is a well-known symbol of Jersey. One of the main attractions of the Corbia Lighthouse is its location. Visitors can walk along the coastal path and take in the stunning views of the rugged coastline, the crashing waves, and the picturesque bays and coves. The lighthouse itself is also a popular subject for photographers, especially during sunset when its red and white stripes are illuminated by the fading light. Visitors can also take a guided tour of the lighthouse and learn about its history and operation. The tour takes visitors up the spiral staircase to the top of the tower, where they can enjoy panoramic views of the surrounding sea and countryside. The lighthouse also features an exhibition room, which showcases the history of the lighthouse and its role in guiding ships safely around the treacherous coastline. Jersey Channel Islands is a must-visit destination for anyone seeking a unique and memorable vacation experience. From stunning beaches to fascinating historical sites, there is something for everyone in this beautiful region. Whether you are interested in outdoor activities, shopping, or simply relaxing in a beautiful setting, Jersey Channel Islands has it all. So, if you are planning your next trip, consider adding these top 10 places to visit to your itinerary. These destinations offers a unique and unforgettable experience that will leave you wanting to come back for more. That is it from our 10 places to visit in Jersey. Let us know in the comments below which was your most favorite destination.